Oh. Well, zero zero draw with FC Dallas. Um, still waiting to sing Wonderwall at home. Not the ideal Sunday night. We'd all expect, but we need goals. That like we had so many shots, so many chances. But no matter who the ball falls to, we simply can't get a good shot or even most of the time a shot on net. Uh, there are several chances throughout the game where you just shake your head because you think, how the hell does that not go in? How don't we get a better shot? How how do we even miss the target? Bongi was like awful, absolutely awful in front of net. Luis was awful in front of net, had a little bit better hold up play, I guess, but so it wasn't his worst performance. But man, oh man, in front of net, we are atrocious. Mender gets subbed on late, misses a couple shots or chances. And uh, oh, if we want to win games, we need goals, and we simply have been crying out for a striker for years. It's been years since Heath got rid of Christian Ramirez. Five, six, six years. And we're still waiting on a replacement for him. Every single striker that has come through the door is absolutely atrocious in front of net. Absolutely awful. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm, I'm really am. The fact that we walk away from that game with – not a single goal is baffling. And uh, just pathetic. I mean, the defense was solid. Boxel was great. But even there were chances where FC Dallas could have easily taken the lead. There, Even though we dominated most of, most of the chances and everything and possession might not have been our way, but the amount of chances we created compared to them were far superior. We had a lot better creation, in my opinion, and rightfully so, being at home. But, like, it's the final third. What we're going to do with the ball, we just don't know once we get to the final third. <sighs> uh, San Bing played all right. Picked up a yellow card early, which was a, a rush of blood to the head when he shouldn't have. I like, I love the the effort in the pressing from San Bin, but there the, that challenge you just didn't need to make. Um, Franco ends up coming on for Hassani in the 64th minute. We kind of bring a load into the midfield, put Franco to the left, bring Bongi to the right, and keep San Bin in the middle but basically just bring Robin into the midfield, and I thought that helped out a lot. I thought Robin was great. I think Hassani played awful tonight, so it was rightfully so that he got substituted. Um, not awful, but he wasn't great. He just wasn't good. But um, Franco, I thought, came on and, and, and played good coming off the bench, but Robin in the midfield, I, I I think he just needs to play in the midfield. He was great at right wing either or right mid either, but I think the team plays better with Robin in the midfield next to someone. Um, at least when Kervin's not available. So, and then yeah, Mender came on for San Bing in the 70th. Mender had a couple chances, but uh, wasn't great. Um, we just, as a collective unit up front, not good, not good at all. Um, Will Trap, I thought, had a good game. Um, does what Will's gonna do, not some of the stuff is not his best. Like shooting outside the box uh, was a Will's Will trap shot. It wasn't great. Uh, some of that stuff he's a little bit limited to, but winning the ball back was actually great tonight. Um, and Kamar Lawrence, I thought, was really good on the wing or on the left back, particularly in attack and defensively a couple times was solid. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay. We will get into the player ratings. Um, St. Clair, I'm going to give a 8 out of or a 7 out of 10. 
Um, DJ Taylor, a 7 out of 10. Michael Boxel, 9 out of 10. Um, Tapias, a 7 out of 10. Tapas, a 7 out of 10. Kamar Lawrence, a 8 out of 10. Will Trap, a 7 out of 10. Dotson, a 5 out of 10. Robin Lud, a 9 out of 10. You'll be my man of the match. Bongi Halongawe, a 2 out of 10. Not good game from Bongi. Sam Bing, a 4 out of 10. Luis Samarilla, a 3 out of 10. Um, Franco Francapane, a... 7 out of 10, or actually an 8 out of 10. I thought Franco was really good off the bench. Uh, Mender, a 5 out of 10. And I'll actually give Franco a 7. I'm going to bring that down to 7. I don't think he had enough time to give an 8. But, um, yeah, that's my player ratings. But we desperately, desperately, desperately need goals. We need to make the goalie work for some of us. They have so many shots if they're on target straight at the goalie. Pick a corner, shoot into that. Uh, let me see how many. We had 17 total shots. Five on target, five on target, and I'm telling you, three or four of them were straight at the goalie. It's just pathetic. Um, yeah, just pathetic. Uh, shot accuracy of 28. Nine percent, just just bad. We need goals defensively. We're pretty solid. We're creating some stuff, but once we get into that final third, we are lost, absolutely lost. Luis Amarillo, we're one of the worst strikers I've seen, and 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 we should have, we should have never brought him back after last year. Um, I, I just question. Uh. Excuse me, sorry. Just some of the player recruitment is baffling. We just have been asking or crying out for strikers. I know the Reynoso situation is not ideal, but the, that whole situation, why is it even going on? This should not be going on for a serious club. You, your player should not be just not showing up, regardless of the situation, especially one of your talisman, best players, DP, however you want to put it. So, and San Bing's a completely different number, style of number 10. He's just more energy, not as much, yeah. Uh, and it didn't really come off tonight for him. Uh, we'd seen sparks, excuse me, from some players, but, or from the yeah, San Bing a couple games, but tonight it, it just really was not his night. Um, it's things that were good, but it just wasn't his night tonight for sure. Um, Yeah. Um, as always, come on, you loons. But yeah, I think that's it for me. Player rating, son. And I, I don't know really what, what else to say besides Alan Chapman sucks at refereeing. He was awful tonight. Besides that, we just need goals. We really just need goals. It's, it's, it's not much more to say we need goals because. Our home form's awful, and we're, if we want to get three points, we just need need to be able to score, obviously, and way form's been all right, but it's not much more to say than we need freaking goals, and Luis Amarillo is not the answer. Mender's not, not great, but I prefer him over Luis. Uh, if I was Adrian Heath, I'd... I, I, the amount of chances we've missed so far this year, I'd have every single player the whole practice for at least two days just finishing, 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 because we, we simply look a loss in front of that, and it's it's not just Luis, it's Bongi, it's, it's everyone. Bongi does a lot of good things, but then looks like he doesn't even know how to kick a ball into the net sometimes. It's, it's bad. That's That's just yeah i could go on and on about how piss poor our finishing's been but 
I'm going to end it there and go to bed for the night because it's a late Sunday. So, as always, come on, you loons, and hopefully, hopefully one of these nights we'll be singing Wonderwall um, at Alliance. But, yep, have a good rest of the night, guys. Peace.